Ford here once again with She's a Rainbow by The Stones. I'm doing a couple of acoustic stone songs today. I did Play With Fire, and now I'm going to do She's a Rainbow. So as a note, I'm in standard tuning, but I am capoed at the first fret. And this is a pretty easy song to play overall. It's pretty much kind of a beginning song, uh, maybe intermediate, depending on how you look at the strumming. But what I've done is I've worked out a way, a mock way, if you will, to play that piano part because the piano, the left and the right hand are so spread apart that it's impossible to really nail it on one guitar. If you've got two guitar players, you could probably pull it off. But what I've done is I've just worked out sort of a, uh, a mock way, if you will, to do it because it's such a big part of the song, right? It happens in between everything all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'll put the tab up on the screen and I'll just play it nice and slow for you. And you will definitely want to use all four fingers to pull this off with the way I've worked it out. So after those first six notes, we fall into what is essentially an E7 chord. And you can see I'm playing that with my last three fingers. That's really important to uh, pulling this off and kind of making it sound like the notes are falling together. But I'm on the uh, fourth fret from the capo with the ring finger third fret with the second finger and then the pinky is also on the fourth fret on the first string and once you've landed that chord the picking pattern is I'm using basically alternate strokes for that which seems to work really well for me but please feel free to do whatever works for you so you want to connect that that's what's important is connecting that with the last of those six notes Now, once we have that, we do this. So as you can see, I'm keeping my ring finger down, sort of uh, keeping that chord in my eyesight, so to speak, okay? Let me do that real slow. lifted it off so you could kind of really see what I'm doing. Uh, hopefully the tab really helps with that. And then you start it all over again. play that twice. And then we move to just that. So it's the same six notes. And then the open B string. And you'll do that one twice. And when I played it at the beginning, I didn't put that little rhythmic accent in there, but that's kind of fun if you want to do it. That's kind of fun. It's the same notes, just a little bit of a rhythmic twist right there. And uh, they don't always play this the same. Obviously, each time the piano comes around, it's a little bit different. And then in the middle, it just goes for a while. It's like this sort of... Uh, cadenza or whatever you want to call it that the piano goes off into. So you want to play that twice as well. If you want to put the accent in there. And then the last one is... And that's it. So putting all of that together, we have... sus chord. So let's talk about the rhythm and how it is being approached. Now the basic rhythm pattern for all of these chords, and it is varied a little bit, it's the stones after all, so just kind of, as I always say, make it your own. But the basic strumming pattern is this. So it's down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, real slow. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And you can use 
that for most of the chords. Now the first thing they do is they hit that A sus4. So you want to spread that out across that rhythm pattern. So you can see I went to the A standard chord right after those first three strokes. And then you just repeat the rhythm pattern while you sit on the A chord. So let's go over exactly what happened right there. As I said, we start with the A sus, first three strokes. Resolve it to A. Stay on the A, repeat the strumming pattern. Move to the D chord, same strumming pattern. Come back to the A, and probably the best way to look at this is that you're gonna stay on the A, and play the strumming pattern three times. That's just how it sort of cycles in the song, and it makes sense with the, uh, with the lyrics and the vocal. So let me play that whole thing for you. starts again. And you go through it all again. And like I said earlier, there's a big piano section in the middle, right? And that's when things change just slightly. Mick starts singing with that piano lick, and this time they go straight to an E7 for six cycles of the strumming pattern. And you just play those first six notes, and you're off and running into the uh, E7 chord. is basically it. She's a rainbow from the Stones. Uh, listen to the recording, you know, to uh, get with the arrangement, although that's pretty much it. And then uh, if you like playing that little piano bit, uh, that little mocked up piano bit on guitar, uh, feel free to do so. It's a good practice anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you guys real soon.